last we begin exciting module number six on hypothesis testing. And you're probably asking yourself, what is hypothesis testing anyway? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, hang on, because the infamous Dr. Dog is about to share all. Hypothesis testing is the examination of a claim using inferential statistics. If you will recall, early in this course, we talked about the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Inferential statistics implies the idea that we will take a sample, and based on that sample, we will make some claim about a population. Hypothesis testing, again, is the examination of a claim using inferential statistics. Consider the following. Some entity makes a claim about a product or a service. I think for those of you that have done any business out here in the world, you know that every, every manufacturer has a claim. Everybody's got their propaganda. Their car is better, that gets better gas mileage, it goes faster, their light bulb lasts longer, and their poison will kill more rats. Everybody's got a claim. In the inferential statistics and hypothesis testing, they will make a claim, and then we will take a sample, and we will take that sample, and we will analyze the descriptive statistics of that sample. Once we analyze the descriptive statistics of the sample, we're going to use those descriptive statistics to imply something about the population. Specifically, this means that X bar is going to tell us something about Mu. Now, keep in mind in this that uh, X bar implies Mu. You do you remember what I said about S implying Sigma? If, if the sample size is 30 or more, then S is a good predictor of sigma. And if the sample size is less than 30, then S is not as good, and we will have to use a T-score to compensate. But look at the flow. The manufacturer makes a claim. We identify the claim. We take a sample. We, coll we collect descriptive statistics of the sample, and then we use that to imply some things about the population. In other words, X bar implies some truths about Mu. Now, once X bar has implied some truths about Mu, we want to examine that distribution. We will have some sort of confidence interval or some sort of picture that will tell us, based upon our sample, what the population looks like, and we will examine the distribution carefully against the claim. And as we examine the distribution against the claim, we're going to make some assumption or some conclusion as to whether the initial claim is likely true or false based upon the sample that we took and the sample descriptors and how they apply, what they imply about the population. And then as we examine the distribution of the population and where the claim falls, whether or not the claim is likely true or false. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Now, just to rehash this real quickly, hypothesis testing is the examination of a claim using inferential statistics. We will identify and label a claim. We will take a sample. We will analyze the sample. We will examine the distribution, and we will determine if the claim appears to be true or false. It just doesn't get any better than this. Pretty easy. They make a hypothesis. We take a sample. We look at the population distribution, and we compare their hypothesis about against what we know about that distribution to determine if they are likely true or false in the claim that they've made. 